there it is. LA 105, it's about four years old. I'm gonna show you how to drop the deck and then pull off a blade and replace the blades. It's not really technically challenging. Your average homeowner can probably do it without much trouble, but it's always nice to see something done before you drive for the first time. So that's what I'm gonna do today, show you step by step how to drop the deck off a John Deere garden tractor. So I'm doing this because I hit a stump last fall and bent the heck out of one of the blades under here. I went to the uh, local implement store, a fleet farm by name, and for $30 or about $25, I got a set of two 21 inch blades good for a 42 inch deck. Again, they cost between $25 and $30. Uh, they're high lift blades. It's best when you're replacing one blade to replace them both. That way you'll get a nice even cut. And today, the first step of doing that will be to drop the deck off of this John Deere tractor. Okay, from the rear left, holding the deck up right here, we've got a cutter pin, just pull straight up. You might want to use gloves. It's easier to forgive a slip wearing gloves than to scrape a knuckle. Pull that out. Give it a fairly good pull. There's one. Another angle, I just took a washer off of that. Now we're going to lift this up. Try to pull it over. Okay, two hands. Lift this one up. Pull it off. And this kind of just sits in there with that cam shaft looking bolt, slides right in there. So keep the screws and nuts together. We're going to put them back on in about half an hour. All right, the next one is underneath where you put your feet and it holds that black iron, flat iron piece. And I don't know if, yeah, you can see it in there. I'm going to try to reach my hand in there. Pull that straight out. That iron support should pull out. It had a little, uh, there it goes. And that's just going to clank down. And I'm trying to get the little washer that came off of it. There it is. There's a little washer. So we're going to keep these parts together. On the cable, we're going to pull this little pin out. Lift that up there. Again, easier with two hands. There we go. Got it. Set that to the side. Now towards the front, we have in the front deck this cotter pin that's going to come out. I'm going to try to set it up on a tripod. Pull that out. And additionally, we'll pull the belt off the front. Now, and then we'll do the same thing on the right side, and that will drop the deck. I might have to get a pliers for this one just to reach in there. A little help from the pliers. Okay, that one came out. No damage. Now we'll loosen up and take off that belt, feed it around the pulley. Okay. Same thing on the other side. Just repeat those steps. Okay, on the back right side, starting with that cotter pin on top, pull up, lift up, and slide that thing off. bolt will slide 90 degrees and you can pull it out. Just put it where you're going to remember how to put it back in. Second one on the right side is that flat iron bar. Pull that cotter pin out again. Hopefully that's in camera view. Pull that out. Should be a little tiny washer on there. There it is. And pull that bar off. It'll just fall down. And you saw the whole deck kind of slid off that time. And I'm trying to make sure I got it all. 
just that little gold bar in the front and we're good. Okay, the last piece was the one in the front. I took the pulley, or, or I took the pin off right there. Now I'm gonna set the camera down and try to pull that one out. Let me get the washer first. Washers off of it now. When I, uh, when I pull that off, the deck is essentially sitting on the two by fours that I put on the ground. So now I can slide the deck out, flip it over, power wash it, and we can take off that faulty blade. Actually, it's not the blade's fault, it's my fault. I ran it over a stump. All the pins are off, all the connectors are off. It should just slide out. Always forget one thing, that middle pin that was attached to what looked like a throttle cable, that goes from the cable to this tension spring, goes right in the middle. So as you start to pull that off, actually push that through and let it go. Just like my kid's favorite song, let it go. Okay, now we can slide this out. Okay, that's it. You got like five connections to undo, just cotter pins. You may need a small pliers to pull, but uh, you don't really need it if you have stronger hands. Uh, it takes about 10 minutes of work. It's a lot easier if you're not using a camera. And now, you're gonna clean this up with a pressure washer, get all that debris off there. And part two of this video, I'm gonna show you how to change a lawnmower blade. If you like my videos, subscribe. I put new ones on every couple of days. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.